the difference between tracing our work and referencing it? Do you guys know the difference? What's up guys, it's Shipwreck Samantha here, here to discuss art topics with you guys. So this week's topic is what's the difference between tracing versus referencing and are either of them okay and is one okay and the other not? Do you guys find certain things to be okay when it comes to artwork and do you think tracing is okay or do you think referencing is okay? And to what level? Um, is it just for practicing? Is it is it more for the professional side and finished pieces? What is your take on it? I think that tracing is good for very, very, very basic fundamentals in learning. When you're first starting to learn how to draw, say, a face and you have no experience with it, it could be useful to trace a photo of a face to break down the structure of where everything is. But I think tracing can be a danger if you use it for too long. It's like having training wheels, but never taking them off after you learn how to ride the bike. Sure, the training wheels might keep you from failing, but it will also keep you from improving. On top of that, tracing is really looked down on in the social media art community in general, as well as referencing. But the thing with referencing is I think that is something you can take with you into your professional career. The question is to what extent do you use referencing? Do you reference a direct piece in every aspect or are you just taking one aspect of a piece of artwork and incorporating that into your work? I think taking bits and pieces of inspiration from other people is a great idea, especially if it comes to things like anatomy where you don't understand how to draw something, looking up references is crucial. You can't learn without using reference in the sense that if I don't know how to draw a face but I've never seen a face before so I just keep drawing what I think a face looks like and just think oh the more I draw it the better I'll get well I mean you're not really gonna get very far you're gonna need to look at faces you're gonna look at people and figure out what they look like and how to duplicate that into a drawing I think heavily referencing things can be useful as well when it comes to practicing Heavily referencing as in referencing a photo or a piece of artwork directly, but without claiming that piece of artwork is yours. I, for practice, take photos that I like and try to copy them the best I can, but I do not claim ownership to the original photograph. So I guess there's a balance between these two, and what do you guys think is where you draw the line or where the line should be drawn? and I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. That's all I have for you guys, so I will see you in the comment section down below.